Turns out, finding a home for the super-large Starship rocket is one of the most difficult problems. Someone joked, perhaps Starship is so big that there is no place big enough to accommodate it. In 2020, Elon Musk had to move from California, which he described as the land of litigation, regulation, and taxes to Texas. Yeah, ultimately in Texas, he has almost everything needed to turn this place into Starship's center operation. The huge support from the Texans, attractive tax incentives, as well as a large area of cheap land to build the spaceport, Starbase. However, just two years later, he suddenly announced that Starship's main launch site in the future might be at Cape Canaveral instead of Starbase. And the reason is simply because of this guy. Honestly, this was feasible since, at that time, SpaceX had nearly completed the Starship launch tower next to the Falcon 9 launch pad at LC-39A. While Texans are worried about when to hold a farewell party with Elon Musk, out of the blue, in November 2023, the public encountered these images on X. Some rumors suggest that host Florida has not warmly welcomed Musk's Red Planet rocket. When everything seemed too much to bear, Musk decided that he wasn't going anywhere. So what exactly happened to SpaceX's Florida Starship launch site? Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. Officially, SpaceX will not be moving Starship spaceport out of Texas. With the first hint of the installation of a white gateway to Mars sign in November, the company tacitly confirmed that in the long term, Starbase in Boca Chica will be home to Starship operations. And that becomes even more certain with confirmation from Starbase General Manager Kathy Lewiters. SpaceX's plan is to make the company's Boca Chica complex its premier manufacturing, launching, and operational center for our Starship. Starbase is really becoming a transformational piece of SpaceX, she said. Luiters' announcement has wiped away any lingering concerns that SpaceX would move primary orbital launch operations to Florida, leaving just research and development and production in Texas. That was an idea planted early last year, in the context of the FAA's postponement of Starship IFT-1. If the situation did not improve, he would be forced to move to Cape Canaveral. And then, Starship has flown twice, and Elon still lives here. Yeah, congratulations to the Texans. All of you deserve it. Being here, everything just felt right. The people of Boca Chica, Brownsville were also nice and helpful. Starbase will continue to be a success, and that entire area will flourish. While the people of Texas are celebrating the security of their future, one question is put, why did Elon change his mind? Or in other words, what exactly happened to SpaceX's Florida Starship launch site? Well, didn't I say it was because the FAA had already issued a license to Starship? Honestly, that's just the surface. There are actually some things worth mentioning here. To fully understand, we should go back a few years to when SpaceX planned to build a Starship launch pad just southeast of the Falcon rocket launch pad within the fenced perimeter of launch pad 39A. The company is also interested in developing another Starship launch pad known as Launch Complex 49, a few miles to the north. Work at Launch Pad 39A in Cape Canaveral started in 2019 to modify the existing site with additional capabilities to support Starship. These activities include preparing the facility to launch prototypes of Starship's upper stage. A second phase of the construction planned in 2020 was to build a much larger launch mount capable of launching the entire Starship launch vehicle. During that time, the company also completed an environmental assessment. And in late 2021, SpaceX finally began constructing the second iteration of Starship's first Florida pad. Orbital Launch Site 2 is still located at Kennedy Space Center's LC-39, a pad which SpaceX leases from NASA. SpaceX has also completed the fabrication of a massive pair of steel arms, transported them to Pad 39A, attached them to a wheeled vehicle, and installed the structure on the Starship launch tower in Florida. In 2022, significant progress has been made toward this objective, 
notably with the nearly completed Starship launch tower next to the Falcon 9 mount at LC-39A. However, following concerns arising from the mishap during the first Starship flight, most Starship operations at the Florida facility have been temporarily halted since then. Why is that? Currently, LC-39 stands as the sole United States site with the capability to launch crewed Dragon capsules. This is the only spacecraft currently available to transport astronauts to the International Space Station. That makes the launch pad a national asset rather than solely for experimental flights. If a Starship were to experience an incident at LC-39 a NASA could lose its only access point to the International Space Station. When a Falcon 9 rocket exploded at LC-40 in 2016, causing extensive damage that required a complete rebuild, SpaceX took 15 months to revive the launch pad. In other words, if a Starship launch fails and destroys the Falcon and Dragon facilities at Pad 39A at some point within 12-18 months, in fact, another spacecraft that NASA chose to replace Dragon, Boeing Starliner, is many years behind schedule and is still not qualified to launch humans. Therefore, they have no hope of taking over the supply duties for the ISS. Given this high-stakes scenario, it becomes imperative to conduct rigorous testing and explore alternative launch options for crewed flights before Starship can be cleared for launches from Florida. But keep in your mind that there is no give-up culture at SpaceX. Just then, they came up with another interesting idea. To the southwest of Space Launch Complex 40 is SpaceX's Roberts Road facility, housing SpaceX's Falcon 9 refurbishment facility Hangar X and the Cape Canaveral Star Factory. An access tower is rising for SpaceX crew and cargo dragon missions. Once the tower is complete, it will relieve a bottleneck at Pad 39A, which is currently the only pad equipped for dragon launches. The construction of an additional tower for Crew Dragon emphasizes SpaceX's dedication to establishing a strong and secure pathway for crewed missions, thereby minimizing risks to critical ISS access points. NASA will no longer have concerns about potential issues related to a giant new experimental rocket starship could potentially halt all SpaceX Dragon launches in one fell swoop was apparently one bridge too many for the agency. Not just enough. SpaceX currently is making modifications within the Launch Complex 39 of pad perimeter to support Starship launches while maintaining the ability to launch Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions, NASA said in a statement after the most recent Starship launch. SpaceX's activities are covered by its agreement for the pad's use. For now, SpaceX is only allowed to build out the infrastructure at LC-39A. Launching and landing will involve further review and approval to include construction of a launch pad that meets NASA's safety and environmental requirements, NASA said in a statement. NASA currently is evaluating an update to the 2019 environmental analysis for Starship operations at LC-39A to include operational changes as well as additional needed infrastructure in support of the Starship program. Okay, here the problem is solved, but why is the sign Gateway to Mars held in Starbase instead of Florida? After careful consideration, the company finds that South Texas is still a haven for Starship operations. As I said, the majority of Texans welcome SpaceX's presence because the company has helped their hometown become a boom town. Here, SpaceX tends to receive local benefits such as tax rebates and so on will also factor in. Additionally, once the Starship rocket and its Stage Zero get better, this means there will be less risk of a serious explosion in the future. Thus the FAA will be more open to issuing Starship launch licenses in Boca Chica. Another point that can't help but talk about is geography. Well, if you were attempting to launch a super heavy rocket accompanied by a high flight cadence, where would you rather sight it? In a spacious, comfortable place where you only have a handful of locals to worry about, or have to squeeze into a densely populated area and have to share space with other companies. Yet, it does not mean SpaceX will give up on the plan to launch Starship in Florida. As Elon said last February, it's important to have redundancy and redundancy is key. The launch pads in Florida would play a role as a lifeboat for the overloading in Starbase under the thick frequency of Starship flights in the future. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode.
make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.